so hyped to be at the skate park. Ugh, there's a scooter kid. At least he's in the corner. Whoop, here we go. Oh, shoot! Okay, so y'all know what this is about. Y'all read the title, y'all saw the skit. Skate rants on scooters. But before we get into the skate rant, I'm a week late, and this is probably going to be a day late, because I'm filming this Sunday, and y'all don't know this, now y'all do, but I haven't even filmed the skit yet. So, I got this skit in my mind, but like, y'all saw it already, but I haven't even filmed it right now, so that's crazy. But anyway, <laughs> what's up guys, Dreaded Skater here, back with another video, and um, another skate rant. I want to film something else, but it's kind of difficult. <laughs> Um, parks are closed. I, I'm not even hanging out with friends anymore. So, I've known to help film and all these ideas, all these video ideas that I have in mind, they all involve skating with someone else. So, that's kind of a problem if I'm not hanging out with people and all of these ideas involve other people. So, I guess I'm gonna just putting out, keep putting out skate rants until... Like I said, until all of this is over, until I can go out and skate with my friends again. And that'll be the last episode after I start skating with friends. But like the title says, like the um skit showed, this is a skate rant on scooters. This is my thoughts on scooters, scooter kids, scooter riders, scooters at the skate park, you feel me? And I'm just going to share all my thoughts on them and then... If y'all agree with me, leave a like. If y'all disagree with me, leave a dislike. Hopefully some scooter riders are watching this and they're like, you feel me? They're going to give me some feedback too. And um, if y'all have anything to say, I usually do this at the end of the video, but I don't know how many of y'all watched the end of the video, but YouTube takes away my comments because I'm a minor. So if y'all have anything y'all want to tell me, you can follow me, or you don't even have to follow me. You can message me on Instagram at dreadhead underscore skater or at Aaron underscore skates. And yeah, let's, let's just get through all this and let's just start talking about scooters. All right, so first off, I kind of feel this necessary to say. I don't know why, but scooters are not allowed at my local skate park. And my local skate park is Swift Cantrell park or Kennesaw skate park and um scooters are not allowed at all I've seen like the park ranger if he comes around and he sees people on scooters at our park he'll kick you out and that's actually like on the rule board so it's all skateboards no BMX we have rollerbladers pop up but for the most part they're cool like pro rollerbladers and they never got kicked out so I think rollerblades are allowed but I've never looked at the rules but no scooters are allowed at my park. They've kicked out little kids, which I think is kind of harsh. But I mean, ain't no snakes when there ain't no snakes, you feel me? I'm not even gonna lie. I'm kind of happy that our skate park has that rule because based off of other skate parks I've been to, like I used to go to skate parks where I used to live that were never crowded. They had like, if it weren't just me and my friends, maybe some other people would be there. And... I would get snaked so often from when other people would be there because they're all little kids on scooters. And since going to my new skate park, I've really never had that happen unless if another skater accidentally snakes me or because like it's, it's going to happen it, with all those. My skate park now is pretty crowded. Lots of people go there and it's a very popular park. So you're bound to get snaked at a park like that. Let me know what y'all think about the lighting. I'm still trying to figure this out because I film these at night, which is really only a good time where I can, like, talk without, like, getting interrupted or something. So, um, let me know if this lighting is good or if it's too bright on this side or too dark on this side. Just let me know. And, um, anyway, back to the, back to the skate rant. So, first things first, I'm gonna talk about why I think scooters have such a bad reputation in the skate community. But, um... Basically, I feel like scooter riders get false hate, like actual good scooter riders get false hate because I feel like what's really messing up scooters for the skate community is 
the little kids that just snake and snake and snake and it's impossible for you to go and they're like annoying at the park and sometimes it's not even scooter kids it's just kids without anything just running around the park which at my local you getting thrown out for that none of that but um I really feel like it's the scooter kids and not even scooter kids they are also little kids on bikes that get in way that get in the way a lot even little kids on skateboards that don't know what they're doing and they get in the way a lot if they like like if you're rolling up a bank you're about to pop a trick some little kid sets his board down not looking at you and then bow you hit him so I really feel like that's kind of like why scooters get a bad name in the skate community but I mean, it is what it is. I feel like it's kind of more of a joke now. But there are some skaters who are actually like, <laughs> screw scooter riders or whatever, or just like saying all this stuff. Like I have this one guy at my local, and he is actually getting mad that there's a scooter scooter rider, not scooter kid, a scooter rider at the park. Like he was throwing f flares, backflips, what whatever they're called. I think they're called flares. But he was throwing like those backflip spin thingies on the quarter and like he was like doing the bunch of tail whips and like the flip he was he was good he was really good and then someone like he was and the skater who was getting mad was also really good and he's like one of the locals that are like kind of known well but he was just getting mad at him and I didn't have a problem with him he was pretty cool and I don't see why he was getting hated on for just doing his thing, just like we do at the skate park. With that being said about the difference between little kids, not even scooter kids, just little kids that don't know what they're doing. And there are the little kids that are like, like, they know what they're doing. They like, some little kids better than me. And they really know what they're doing. So they're, they're over here. They're, they're chill with me, right? They're good. But the little kids, whether it be on scooters, bikes, skateboards, I feel like they're the reason that scooters get a bad name. And for the scooter riders, I actually, like, respect them because, like, some of the stuff they do is really crazy. Like, the backflip down El Toro, that clip was crazy. Even made it on skate line. Like, if a scooter makes it on skate line, you know they're doing something right. I'm not even on cab, though. <laughs> I really don't think scootering is as cool as skateboarding, that's just in my opinion, like, I'd rather watch skateboarding, like, SLS than some scooter competition, like, even though they do all the flips and stuff, and, like, they can, like, make it spin around a lot, that's pretty cool and pretty impressive, but I'd still rather watch a skater, like, do a crazy tray flip or something. I really feel like scooter riders just get this bad stigma for no reason, and even the little kids who are annoying at the skate park, and we just, like, sigh whenever we see them there, they don't know what they're doing. They just want to have fun. So, like, we can't get too mad at them. We're, I, I know I was once like that at one time. I remember one time, um, this is when I skated. I was pretty new into skating, though. But these skaters were skating this box. Like, it was like a, it was a mani pad and a box and then a higher step up box. And then there's, like, a part where you could roll on. So, just, like, imagine. I don't think I have a picture of it, but just imagine, like, Boom, there's like a slant, right? Then there's the box, and then there's another box on the side. So basically, you can like roll up the box and do a trick off the box, or you can like grind on the box. But anyway, I remember one time when I was skating, um, these skaters were skating this box. And instead of just rolling up the box and then skating off of it, because I, I couldn't even like, I think I could ollie off of it. I didn't really know what I was doing. Instead of doing that, I set the board on top of the box and skated off of it, which I don't know why I did this now, but I remember just looking back at it, and I probably snake tipped out like five skaters, and it's so cringy to think about now, but I mean, you just make those mistakes when you're new to like the skate community and going to skate parks, so, and I wasn't young either, I, I think I was like, well, I was pretty young, I think I was like, how old am I now, 15? I don't even know if I was like doing tricks then. I don't know, it was like some four years ago, so like, I think 11, and I was just getting into skating, like, literally brand new, and I think I could like barely ollie, but those things just kind of happened, so we kind of just got to brush it to the side and just 
get on with like go on with our day and just keep skating and last thing i have to say this is i kind of hate admitting this but um before i was a skater i was a scooter well first i started off bmx and i learned bunny hops then i was like skate or scootering's better than bmx so i moved to scootering and i did that for like a while i think i i think i was like nine when i did that maybe younger maybe eight because I know I took like a couple years from scootering to skateboarding, but I scootered for a long time and I could do like a couple tricks. I could bar spin and I could like jump off of stuff, but <laughs> I actually quit scootering because I couldn't tail whip. And that is so cringy because like I see all these skaters that just do tail whips like it's easy. So if y'all want me to learn how to tail whip, then get this video. Let's do 25 likes. I'm probably going to regret that. But 25 likes on this video and I'll I'll learn how to tail whip. And if I I might just do like a time challenge and if I don't do it in a certain amount of time, then I'll get a punishment. But if y'all want if y'all want to see that, leave a like or DM me or if this video has comments, then leave a comment. If I have any clips, I'll put some right now. If there were clips, I hope you liked them, I guess. Um, there probably will be clips, but they're definitely what you've seen on Instagram by now. Or maybe not. Maybe I haven't posted the Instagram clips yet. I, I, I'm just going by the days, bro. This It kind of just goes as it goes for these past couple weeks, like two months. It's just gone how it goes, but we'll see. If you did like it, please leave a like. Please subscribe to this channel. I, I'm pretty close to 500 when i'm filming this and if i'm at 500 by the time this is up then yay i don't know um dm me some stuff i might do a board setup for 500 subs and um maybe a giveaway i'm thinking about it i might do a giveaway for 500 subs and um again if y'all want to see my skate clips then dreadhead underscore skater and then i have like another account for photos and stuff that's aaron underscore skates one and yeah, this is the end of the video, and peace out.